to everyone, and uh, I appreciate uh, all of you coming so very, very much uh, for our um, annual artistic discovery. Uh, and uh, I just can't uh, tell you how uh, wonderful this, uh, this turnout is today and how much we appreciate uh, all of you coming, certainly uh, all the parents and all the siblings and all the uh, art teachers that are here and uh, uh, the proud uh, moms and dads, but uh, most of all, we welcome our uh, fantastic artists. And I'm sure we all got a chance to walk around out there and look at all the different art that was displayed. It is really unbelievable. How about a big round of applause for everybody for all their art? Actually, I guess I better introduce myself. I think I, I think I said hello to everyone, but uh, for any of you that don't know uh, know me, I'm uh, Representative Candace Miller. It's uh, my great honor and privilege to serve you in the U.S. House of Representatives. And uh, actually, for over 30 years, the Congress, the House of Representatives, has been doing what they call this artistic discovery. And so this is, uh, since I've been in Congress, now this is our 12th year uh, that we've done this. And it's the second year, actually, that we have hosted it, uh, actually being hosted, by uh, Studio 1219. And really, this is one of the most fun things, interesting, exciting things that I get a chance to do uh, during my uh, entire year. I always look forward uh, to this so much, and our staff does as well. And Emily Marriott, I have to have a shout out for her, because she has been working very closely with uh, Janet uh, Prusik. Yes, let's give them both a uh, round of applause. Janet is the general manager here uh, of uh, Studio 1219, and uh, when we started a couple of years ago, Emily and I said, you know, we've got this fantastic art and we don't really get it out in the community, and when we do, we don't have a chance to really display it and let people really look at this and see how fantastic it all is. And uh, so uh, this is such a unique facility. It's such a cool old building, really. This used to be an old uh, furniture warehouse. And uh, now it's been uh, restored. It's a nonprofit. And uh, so they've given us, of course, the, last year we just had the one side of the upstairs. And this year we have the whole, <coughs> excuse me, the whole upstairs here. And all of this art will be displayed for the entire month of April. Uh, so it really is a great way for uh, everybody in the community to, uh, to have a, a nice long time to come here and see this fantastic studio, 1219, and get a chance as well to. Uh, to look at all the art that we have here. Uh, we have two categories uh, of winners, and one is photography, and one is non-photography. And then, of course, we have the overall winner. And uh, perhaps at the uh, conclusion of that, I might ask John Henry to come up and tell us just generally uh, what went in. Uh, I don't know, should we do that before or after we announce? Probably after. Yeah. After we announce, okay, we don't want to give anything away. <clears throat> after we announce the winners, we'll have uh, John, pardon me? Excited that the yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then John will, will tell us on behalf of the other uh, judges what they were really looking for. So our first, let's see if we, are we coordinated here, Emily? Yes. Okay, our first, uh, this is in the non-photography category, our honorable mention. Uh, so we are going to have uh, honorable mentions and then third place, second place, and of course first place in the, in the uh, non-photography category. Honorable mention, first goes to Audrey Hartson. Her, she has an ink drawing called Second Glance. Audrey, are you in the audience? If you are, please come forward. The next honorable mention is, uh, oh, first of all, Audrey is uh, from Port Huron Northern High School. She's in the 11th grade, and her art teachers are Pamela Brown and Victoria Hussey. And I know Pamela is here. I'm not sure uh, who else was here. When, when we're done, we'll have an opportunity to take some more pictures with the art teachers and everything else. 
Uh, our second uh, honorable mention is Alicia Birch. She is from Port Huron Northern High School. Is Alicia here in the audience? If you are, please come forward. <laughs> Her art is called Proud Pleaser. She is in the 12th grade at Port Huron Northern High School. Again, our teacher is uh, Pamela Brown and Victoria Hussey. mention is from Kaylin Wilcox. If Kaylin is here, please come forward. Here she comes. She has an ink drawing. She calls it Village Gears. Village Gears. And uh, Kaylin is from Richmond High School. And her art teacher is Gwen Aronson and Tina Cole. is Emily Gibbons. Emily? No, she's not here? She's not here? Okay. Is there anybody that wants to... Uh, huh? This is... Uh, are you the teacher? I'm the guidance counselor. You're the guidance yeah, counselor. Okay. We have a couple class trips going on, so... Okay. It is spring break. Yes, it is spring break. Some kids... This uh, painting is called Mix Emotions, and uh, Emily is from Cardinal Mooney Catholic High School, and her art teacher is Andrea Lazar. in our category of non-photography is Emily Torres. Emily Torres. Here she comes, Emily. And hers is a charcoal and pastel, of course, called Hawk. And Emily is from Port Huron Northern High School. And her teacher is Pamela Brown as well. place winner in the non-photography category from Rachel Zorak. Am I pronouncing it right? Rachel Zorak. Is she with us today? She is not. Oh. Is there Lori Pettiview that came to uh, the assistant principal was coming to uh, no? Okay, nobody's here. Well, she won. That's the uh, <laughs> color pencil shirt from Henry Ford uh, High School. And her art teacher is Joseph Elliott. Oh, too bad. Well, we're going to make sure she gets her certificate. Can you put the uh, ribbon on that certificate? Sure. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to our second category. This is a photography category. And again, we're going to start with our honorable mentions. First honorable mention is James Opiola. Am I pronouncing it right? Opiola. There's James. He has digital art. You look like you're ready for spring break there, James. <laughs> I just got that. He's got uh, digital art. It's called Winter Feeding. He's from Almont High School. He's in the 12th grade. And his art teacher is Lisa Wright. Yeah. <laughs> 
mention in the photography category is Jared Phyllis. Is Jared here? No? All right. We're missing a couple here on spring break. Is he here? Is there someone to uh, grab for him? All right. He has one called Planet Leaf Digital Photography from Lons Cruz High School. He's in the 11th grade and his teacher is Janet Prange. Prang. Okay. Uh, third place in the photography category is let me get uh, Emily to get it there Katie Lensmeyer Katie Lensmeyer there we go the photography oh she's in a dance competition yeah but get, get, get a lot of things going on this is called Tranquil again Cardinal Moni Catholic High School 10th grade and her art teacher is Andrea Lazar in the photography category is Noelle LaRose. And here comes Noelle. This is digital photography and the name of her piece is called Trapped in Neverland. And Noelle is from Las Cruz High School. She's in the 12th grade. And her art teacher is Janet Prang. And her other is very cool as well. We were just—I took a picture of her before we came up here. I said, "I think I like this one, but I like the other one just as well. They are very, very beautiful." All right, where are we looking? Over here. Good job, Noel. Okay. The moment we've really been all waiting for, but you know what? Everybody is a winner. Everybody that entered is a winner as far as I'm concerned, but there can only be one. And um, I maybe ask John Henry to come up here as I announce this one as well, and he can tell us what they were really looking for. And this was this is first place, and best this year's best in show is Biha Parisi. Biha Parisi, here she is. photography and she called it three doors down and she is from Utica High School she's in the 12th grade and her art teacher is Jennifer Allure beautiful some insight into the judging that took place and how we did it. Uh, to start off, we had three judges from three different disciplines. Okay. We had three judges from three different disciplines. And so that gave us an overall view. We started out by walking through, seeing the entire show. The second step we took was we had 3M stick -em notes. And any that we thought were able to be probably of the six winners of either side of the room, we went and stuck them on the piece. The third round, we went and looked at each other's and saw some had two stickers, some had three, some had one. We then entered into discussion. And that was the fun part. So you had to explain why you put the sticker on. And so 
in front of some. It took a little time because all three of us put stickers on it, and it provided an insight of how we were perceiving the actual piece of work. Um, sometimes they only had one sticker on, and yet uh, that person won second place because we sat with it, looked at it longer, and then from there we chose and said, geez, that needs our sticker. So we, we did change our minds that way. So we arrived at this piece here. Basically, we judged them on the idea, the design, and the craftsmanship. With photography and digital art, there isn't too much that deals with craftsmanship. If it's Photoshopped, then we look to see how seamless it is. And so the choice between uh, second place and this piece, I think we spent about 10 minutes just going back and forth saying, which one is it? And uh, we finally decided on this piece. If anybody, a uh, student or, uh, or uh, instructor, you know, wants other information in regard to how, uh, how we looked at a, piece, a certain piece of work, uh, I'll be around for probably the next 45 minutes. Uh, thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. And Joanne, both of our judges, thank you so much. And thanks so much to Janet uh, for, the, again, the gracious hospitality here at 1219. And uh, thank you all for coming. And uh, most importantly is a thank you to all of our artists. As I say, every single one of you is a winner. All of this art is so fantastic. And uh, it's, it really is just uh, remarkable. And who knows what you're going to all use it, your, your talents for as you go forward in life, uh, whether you, uh, you know, turn to art as a, as a career or profession. Maybe you're going to be a teacher. Uh, you might just use it for your own personal enjoyment. Uh, you know, use it for your children or your grandchildren or what have you. But uh, we just have such an incredible talent here. And uh, we sure appreciate all of you coming. And, uh, and we're all going to be around uh, for a little bit after this. So uh, please uh, enjoy. And again, thanks so much for coming. Congratulations to all the winners.